Hi, welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Araldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all the latest fitness, health, and lifestyle trends. And of course, most importantly, having fun while doing it. Before introducing you to my guest, I want to thank Debbie Lilly for this beautiful floor arrangement, which is available at all, all the local Acme's store. Okay? So, my first guest is a producer, writer, and director, and she's taking some of her real life experience to the big screen in the new hit movie, Grandma's House. Here to tell us more about it and the inspiration behind the movie is Kimberly Zlokowski. Hi, Kim. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thanks for being here. So, um, of course, I want to talk about Grandma's House, the movie. Um, I know that it's about your personal story. Yes. Um, tell us about how you came forward with the story. Well, uh, it's always been a dream of mine to produce my own movies. Mm -hmm. I've always loved to write stories, and I wanted to honor my grandmother with my first movie. Mm -hmm. I felt that the world deserved to know what an amazing woman she was. Right. So um, I wanted to take Grandma's house and introduce them, uh, the, the audience, okay. to my grandmother, as well as a little bit introduce them to myself. Mm, okay, so I, what was your grandmother's name, by the way? My grandmother was Marjorie Harris. Marjorie Harris, yes. right? She must have been a, an unbelievable woman, right? She was an amazing woman. Mm. She was a pillar of the community. Right. She was loved by everyone mm -hmm. who knew her, and she was respected by everyone who knew her. Okay. And she really tried to make a difference in society, mm. um, being very poor and having very little she gave what little she had to everyone okay. um, all the time, and she mm -hmm. set that example for me mm -hmm. to, that it's better to give than to receive. That's right. And we Absolutely. were always giving away food, clothes, furniture, just whatever mm -hmm. she could um, find to give to someone in need, we right. were doing it. And um, I know you have incredible strength or a healthy living lifestyle. Yeah. G give me some ideas of what your perception is of it. Or well, my perception is to not harbor hatred mm -hmm. or um, any ill feelings in your heart. Okay. Um, growing up in foster care, in the foster care system, which is why I ended up with my grandmother, uh, a lot of things can happen to you. Of course. And, and you can carry those things into your adulthood right. if you don't learn how to forgive. Right. Even if the person doesn't ask for forgiveness. It's not about someone coming to you and asking you for forgiveness. A healthy lifestyle is about you being able to forgive mm. people who have hurt you and moving forward with your life and being an asset to society. Wow. Um, I'm going to get emotional here with you, though, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's really... Um, T tell me, tell me about the cast. I, I know you had. I'm sure you had an amazing cast. Tell us about it. I had the most amazing cast, mm -hmm. and most of my cast was handpicked. Okay. I know that I wanted Miss Loretta Devine mm -hmm. to yes. play my grandmother. Right. I love Loretta Devine. I've uh, she's Incredible been actress, everybody's right? grandmother and mother Absolutely. in so many movies. <laughs> right. And I knew if anybody could bring my grandmother back to life for that period of time, mm -hmm. that Miss Loretta Devine could do so, and she absolutely did. She did a wow. phenomenal job. Right. Um, I am so pleased with her performance. She embraced the character. Right. And um, she 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 took it very personal. Sure. And um, she she's the best of the best. Wow. Uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson. Uh -huh. uh, she, I handpicked her, wanted her for that role okay. uh, because she had to play a version of a few different family members in one. And if mm. anyone could pull that off, right. it, it would be, be her, Wendy right? Raquel Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> right. So she brought that that sass and class mm. um, to the movie, wow. and and it was wonderful. Coco Jones uh -huh. uh, played a version of me, <laughs> and <laughs> that did was, you do a good job? She did a great job. She did a better job than better me. Job than you, right? <laughs> she should replace me. Should repl <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but um, she was hand handpicked from my children. Um, they uh -huh. watched her um, on the big screens in our Disney movie, Let It Shine. Right. So she, uh, they're just big fans of her. So they said, Mom, get Coco Jones. Get Coco Jones, right. And, and we did. We reached out to her, right. and, and she accepted. Mm -hmm. And she, she did a phenomenal job. Right. Uh, Jasmine Lewis mm -hmm. did a phenomenal job as right. well. 
Flex Alexander, right. amazing job. Mm -hmm. Alex Thomas, funny man Thomas. Funny man Thomas, right? Yeah, he's a comedian. <laughs> and, so you um, must have laughed throughout the whole time, right? <laughs> we <laughs> did, we did, but the audience gets a treat because they get to see him in a very different right, role, a different role right. than um, mm -hmm. what you're used to seeing uh, him acting on stage. Right, right. He, he actually, he brought that comedy, but he has some very serious mm. issues that he struggles with, which is why he lives with Grandma Margie. Wow. Um, still as an adult right. so the audience can really connect connect with him, with right? him on a, and see his talent, his talent. In, in a different uh, right. level uh, Paige Hurd uh -huh. amazing amazing leader right amazing she did a great huh. job um, stayed in character kept that attitude right made the audience love right. her made the audience hate her <laughs> made the audience want to be her <laughs> so you did you expect it to be such a great hit then or was it let me tell you. Please. <laughs> when we had our table read, uh -huh. the, the entire cast around the table read was in character. Mm. And when they were reading and they were in character and they were just reading lines. Right. N not in a set, just around a round right. table. Right. I knew then that I had picked the right family for grandma's house. Uh, and, and your grandmother would have been happy, right? My grandmother would have been so happy. Wow, and she, she, but she passed away in 2009, you and, see? You yes, my grandmother wow. passed away in 2009. Wow. But her memory lives on through um, many of us. We, okay. we carry her legacy. Well, we're almost out of time, but just tell me quickly, I know you have another project going on. Yes. Tell me really quickly about that. Okay, uh, 53206 uh -huh. is a movie that I'm working on okay. uh, uh, regarding the 53206 zip code in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, okay. where I am from, uh -huh. where I grew up in. Yes. It's the highest crime rate right now mm -hmm. um, in the nation, and there's daily shootings, and this movie is to bring awareness to the crime and violence that's going on in our community, okay. also to shed a light for the okay. heroes in that community that have come out and that are trying to make a difference. Oh. Thanks. Kim, thank you so much You're for welcome. being here. Appreciate thank it. You. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right, guys, still ahead on Healthy Lifestyle with Aldo. What are some of the top trending apps millennials are in these days? <laughs> Find out after the break. <laughs>